Hi, this is Margaret. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Grammar Buzz, Learning Made Easy. Hey, thanks for joining in. In today's video, we are going to learn all about adjective phrases and know how to identify them. But before we move on, let us quickly know about today's lesson objectives. And the lesson objectives today aims at helping us to know what are adjective phrases, know how to identify them and also know how they function. Well, this lesson is going to be very informative and very interesting. I am excited. I know you guys are too. So make sure you watch this video till the end. But before we start, let us quickly revise what we have already learnt in our previous video. Well, do you remember what is a phrase? So what is a phrase? Phrase is a group of words that does not have a meaning if used alone as they do not have a subject or an object. Phrases are units that can be put together to make up sentences and it does not have a subject and a verb combination. Remember, phrases are units that can be put together to make up sentences but most importantly, it does not have a subject and a verb combination that is, it lacks a subject or a verb. It cannot have the subject-verb combination. A phrase lacks both the subject and the object. Hence, the phrase cannot stand alone to give a complete meaning. Now, let us take the example sentence, I saw a joker in the street. In this sentence, in the street is a phrase. It does not have a subject-verb combination. It does not have any subject or object. So it does not have any meaning when standing alone. Try saying the phrase in the street. I'm sure your friends and people around will not be able to understand what you are trying to express. But when the same phrase is taken together in association with other words in a sentence, it makes a complete meaning. For example, I saw a joker in the street. Now the meaning of the sentence is complete together with the phrase in it. So we can say in the street is a phrase. Well, here comes our first did you know. Hey, did you know phrase can be of several types? Yes, phrases are of several types and they are noun phrase, adjective phrase, verb phrase, adverb phrase, prepositional phrase, infinitive phrase, gerund phrase and absolute phrase. But in this video, we will specifically discuss all about adjective phrase. So let us begin from the very beginning and that is what is an adjective phrase? Well, what about it? What is an adjective phrase? Most people know what an adjective is. But when it comes to describing an adjective phrase, it's easy to get confused. An adjective phrase is a group of words that does the work of an adjective. An adjective phrase is headed by an adjective that describes a noun or a pronoun. An adjective phrase is a group of words with an adjective in it. Remember that. Adjective phrase is a phrase that has an adjective as its head word or the most important word and its function is same as that of an adjective in a sentence. An adjective phrase is a group of word. Remember that. It is actually a group of word that describes a noun or a pronoun in a sentence thus functioning as an adjective. And remember, since it is a phrase, it does not have the subject-verb combination. Well, an adjective phrase is no different from that of an adjective. The only difference is, an adjective is a word that modifies a noun or a pronoun. As for example, sunny day, smart boy. Here the word sunny describes the day which is a noun. Smart describes the boy, which is a noun. 
but for an adjective phrase an adjective phrase is a group of words that modifies a noun or a pronoun it's doing the same work that of an adjective but the only difference is instead of one word it is a combination of words for example extremely sunny day very smart boy so an adjective phrase is no different from an adjective the only difference is an adjective is a word that modifies a noun and an adjective phrase is a group of words that modifies a noun let us now take the example he is dating a smart girl fun example right he is dating a smart girl in this sentence smart is an adjective that modifies the noun girl and now take a look at this sentence he is dating a very smart girl in this sentence very smart is an adjective phrase that too modifies the same noun girl so both the adjective and the adjective phrase are actually doing the same work of modifying the noun in the sentence like an adjective and adjective phrase can also appear in different positions the adjective phrase can appear at the start the end or middle of the sentence the good news is you don't have to be a grammar buff to understand what an adjective phrase is or how it works in fact we use these phrases all the time without even thinking so let's take a closer look in the beginning of the sentence in the beginning of the sentence or before the noun it modifies let's take the example sentence the extremely tired kitten fell asleep by her food dish extremely tired is the adjective phrase appearing at the beginning of the sentence and modifying the noun kitten let's take another example young otherwise healthy people are most likely to recover quickly in this sentence young otherwise healthy is the adjective phrase that appears at the beginning of the sentence and it modifies the noun people an adjective phrase appearing in the middle of the sentence or just after the noun it modifies so let us take the example sentence the women on the boat is my aunt carol the women on the boat is my aunt carol on the boat is the adjective phrase that gives the information about the noun women and appears in the middle of the sentence or just after the noun woman that is it modifies so remember in this sentence the adjective phrase on the boat appears in the middle of the sentence and it modifies the noun women in the sentence now let us take another example a girl smarter than me will win the competition a girl smarter than me will win the competition here smarter than me is the adjective phrase that gives information about the noun girl it modifies the noun girl not just any girl but a girl smarter than me and it comes in the middle of the sentence and just after the noun that it modifies adjective phrases appearing at the end of the sentence let's take the example sentence the exams were unbelievably difficult the exams were unbelievably difficult unbelievably difficult is an adjective phrase that gives information about the noun exam and appears at the end of the sentence let us take another example mary was exquisitely graceful Mary was exquisitely graceful. Here exquisitely graceful is the adjective phrase that modifies the noun Mary and it comes at the end of the sentence. 
Now that we know the different places when an adjective phrase can appear, let us move on with how we can identify an adjective phrase. How to identify an adjective phrase? Does it sound difficult? Well, it's not. So let us see how we can identify an adjective phrase. In order to identify an adjective phrase, we need to pick out an adjective phrase in the sentence. And for that, you need to look out for the noun first. Identify who or what the sentence is about. So the first thing you need to do is look for the noun in the sentence. Next, look for the adjectives, the words that modify these nouns. First, look for the noun and then look for the adjectives that modify the nouns in the sentence. Next, look for phrases that could be cut from the sentence without changing its meaning. Remember, next is very important. You need to look out for the phrases that could be removed from the sentence without changing the meaning of the sentences. Now let us see how to identify an adjective phrase. Let us take the example sentence. After looking around for months, I finally found a reliable yet affordable used car. So our example sentence is, after looking around for months, I finally found a reliable yet affordable used car. Can you spot the noun in the sentence? That is the first step we need to do. Well, you are right. The noun in the sentence is car. Next, let us look for adjectives. And the adjectives in the sentence are a reliable yet affordably used car. A reliable yet affordably used car. So a reliable yet affordably used actually describes the noun car. But you take a closer look. You will see that it isn't just a used car. It is more specifically a reliable yet affordable used car. So the phrase in the sentence is a reliable yet affordable used. It is an adjective phrase because it provides descriptive details about the noun car. And if we remove this phrase from the sentence, the meaning would still remain the same. That is, after looking around for months, I finally found a used car. But by including the full phrase, we are more deeply describing the exact kind of car the speaker wanted, giving context for why they looked around for so long. So we can say that a reliable yet affordable used is the adjective phrase in this sentence. Now let us look at the different forms of adjective phrases. Adjective phrases come in many different forms. Some incorporate the comparative and superlative adjectives. For example, they saw only the brightest stars through their telescope. They saw only the brightest stars through their telescope. In this sentence, stars is the noun that is being described by the superlative form of adjective the brightest. So the superlative form of adjective used in this sentence is an adjective phrase. What about the next form? And the next form is adjective phrases can contain adverbs. Adjective phrases may have adverbs in them. For example, his hair shockingly dyed pink 
surprised his parents. His hair shockingly dyed pink surprised his parents. Here shockingly is an adverb that is used as a part of an adjective phrase. The next form of adjective phrase is Adjective phrases can incorporate prepositions too. Adjective phrases can have prepositions in them too. For example, my grandmother from New York makes a delicious egg cream. In this sentence, grandmother is the noun that is being described by the adjective phrase from New York. Take a look at the first word of the adjective phrase. It is from and from is a preposition. Adjective phrases can have a series of adjectives in them. Sometimes an adjective phrase is just a series of adjectives. Like my old slow gas guzzling minivan finally died. My old slow gas guzzling minivan finally died. Here old slow gas guzzling is a series of adjectives that is used as an adjective phrase. In this sentence minivan is a noun that is being described by the adjective phrase old slow gas guzzling. Now let us discuss a few more examples in a little more detail. Let us take the example sentence, the beautiful house sits atop the hill. The beautiful house sits atop the hill. Here beautiful is an adjective. It defines the noun house. It gives us some more information about the house. And that is exactly the job of an adjective to modify a noun or a pronoun. So you can say beautiful is the adjective in this sentence. Now look at this sentence. The house that is so beautiful sits atop the hill. The house that is so beautiful sits atop the hill. Here again we are saying the same thing but in a different way. Here that is so beautiful is a group of word that is describing the house. That is so beautiful is a phrase that comes after the noun house. It is a phrase because it is a group of words without any subject word combination. So that is so beautiful acts as an adjective and does the same job of describing the noun house. So this phrase which is describing the noun house and is doing the work of an adjective is an adjective phrase. And if we remove this phrase that is so beautiful, the meaning of the sentence still remains the same. Well, let us take another example sentence and that is Lucky bought a red outfit. Lucky bought a red outfit. Here red defines the noun outfit. It gives us some more information about the outfit. So we can say that red is the adjective in the sentence. Now let us see how we can rewrite this sentence using an adjective phrase. We could easily say Lucky bought an outfit of red color. We are saying the same thing in a different way. Here of red color is an adjective phrase as it is a group of words that is describing the outfit. It comes after the noun outfit. So we can say of red color is the adjective phrase in the sentence. It is a phrase because it is a group of words without any subject verb combination. Note 
here the first word of the phrase is of and it is a preposition let us take another example sentence for better understanding and that is rupanzal lived in a stone tower here stone is an adjective and it defines the noun tower it modifies the noun tower so we can say that stone is an adjective now let us see how we can rewrite this sentence by replacing the adjective stone with an adjective phrase well we can write it as rupanzal lived in a tower made of stone basically we are saying the same thing in a different way so instead of writing stone tower we are writing made of stones so made of stones is an adjective phrase that is it is modifying the noun tower it comes after the noun tower and it is a phrase because it is a group of words without any subject verb combination note made is a participle and it is a past participle remember participle is a verb that is formed from a verb and which works as an adjective well let us explore some more examples of an adjective phrase that can be used to replace some adjectives so instead of using silken we could say made of silk shameful could be said as deed of shame useless as of no use muddy as covered with mud longest as of great length fearless as free from fear sensible as a man or a woman of sense well try making your own adjective phrases from few adjectives of your own choice and then drop them in the comment box and i will surely get back to you that can be a fun activity for you and at the same time some practice great we have reached our practice time and today we have two parts to our practice time in the first part you will simply have to identify the adjective phrase and in the second part you will need to rewrite the sentences replacing the adjectives with the adjective phrase so are we ready i surely guess we are so let's start the first part of our practice time simply you need to identify the adjective phrase in the sentence so our first sentence is a valley covered with grass stretched before us well can you identify the adjective phrase in this sentence i think you have so check your answers with mine and it is covered with grass i'm sure you have done a great job let's move on with the next sentence and that is he is a cricketer by profession he is a cricketer by profession so what about this one what do you have to say which is the adjective phrase in this sentence well you're right again it is by profession great job Okay here comes our next sentence and that is nobody likes a person with a short temper nobody likes a person with a short temper so what do you think which is the adjective phrase in this sentence well well you are right again and that is with a short temper great job moving on with our next sentence and that is they walked along a road covered with mud they walked along a road covered with mud what do you have for this one have you already identified the adjective phrase i bet you have so let's check our answers and that is covered with mud good work
And here comes our next sentence. And it is, I met a little girl from a cottage. I met a little girl from a cottage. So what about this one? I bet you have already spotted the adjective phrase and it is from a cottage. Great job. You can clap for yourself. Good work. Well, with this we come to the end of the first part of our practice time and we head on with the second part of our practice time. And here you need to rewrite the sentences replacing them with adjective phrase. So are you ready? I bet you are. So let's start. Well, and our first sentence is the bright sun shone through the window. The bright sun shone through the window. Well, how will you replace the adjective in the sentence with the adjective phrase? Remember the steps? Identify the noun, then the adjective and then replace it with the adjective phrase. I bet you have already done it. So let's check our answers. And it is... The sun that is so bright shone through the window. The sun that is so bright shone through the window. And the adjective phrase in this sentence is that is so bright. Good job. Let's move on with the next sentence. He was wearing a golden crown. He was wearing a golden crown. So what about this one? It's quite a simple sentence though. What do you think? Have you spotted the noun and the adjective? Well, replace it now. And our answer sentence is He was wearing a crown made of gold. He was wearing a crown made of gold. And in this sentence, the adjective phrase is made of gold. Good job! Moving on with our next sentence. A long bearded man came to see me. A long bearded man came to see me. What about this sentence? Have you spotted the noun? Remember the steps? Well, let's check the sentence now. And it is a man with a long beard came to see me. And the adjective phrase in this sentence is with a long beard. Great job! And here comes our last sentence. Muddy dogs are not allowed upstairs. Muddy dogs are not allowed upstairs. So, what about this sentence? Have you spotted the adjective and the noun? If you have, replace the adjective with an adjective phrase. And our sentence is, Dogs covered with mud are not allowed upstairs. And the adjective phrase in this sentence is, Covered with mud. Great job! Hey, with that we come to the end of our video. That was a real great job that you did. Hope this video helped you understand what are adjective phrases. If you have any questions at all, you know what to do. Just pop them in the comment box. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share and press the bell icon. And subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. So this is Margaret signing off for today. Thank you everyone. Stay good, stay healthy.